Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my whole process of making one YouTube video. And this is the first YouTube video that I'm able to film showing you guys my room. So as you guys know, the last video I posted was my room makeover video. If you haven't seen it yet, it'll be right up here in the iCard. But that video took like a whole month to complete. So during that month, I couldn't post any videos that really showed you guys like my room difference because obviously I would get questions about it. And I wanted the video to be a surprise. So now I can finally film in my room openly. So the video that I'm gonna be filming or like showing you guys how I create is my 10 things youtubers don't tell you YouTube video and it's already up So you probably have already seen it by now But I'm just gonna show you my whole process of making a YouTube video so you guys can see kind of like the timeline and like all that I do So yeah, today's day one of this YouTube video creation But the first thing that I do before I do any YouTube video is plan it out So I use my computer to plan out my videos. I use an application called notion. You've probably seen some videos on it where I have a whole list of YouTube video ideas and then my content calendar so I'm not gonna go in depth of everything because that's gonna be for a different video but basically I just have this calendar here where I plan out all the content that I am going to be posting so I know what day I need to like post a video but when I think of a video idea I go to my Google Drive and I just plan out like a whole document of all the little sections or topics that I'll be talking about and then also what I'm gonna say within the topics so this is a little outline I made for the video that I'll be filming like I said it's the 10 things that youtubers don't tell you so I have topics and then within each topic I have little things that I want to make sure I mention this is really helpful because then I can make sure that I'm not gonna forget anything while filming it is currently 11 11 a.m. and I'm about to start filming this video I say the timing for planning a video depends on like what kind of video I'm planning so obviously if it's a more talkative one like the one I'm going to film then it'll probably take a little bit more because there's more topics I want to make sure to talk about my hair right now it I braided it last night and I have these baby hairs here. They don't really look that good, but honestly, I think I might just keep the braids in. I'm wearing this shirt from Target, sweatpants, and these Nike socks. So for filming, I usually try to put on somewhat of a good top, and then the bottoms I don't really care because you guys don't see it. But this top actually isn't bad. It's not actually a pajama shirt, but I decided to wear it. I'm also wearing like a sports bra tank top thing. Now I'm just gonna set up my stuff so I can start filming. Okay, so I'm kind of thinking this will be the setup and I'm gonna shut my window so that the lighting is better So that is better, but I think I might turn on my light. Okay, so now the lighting is pretty good So for this video, I'll just sit here in my chair and kind of talk to the camera like this I have my camera set up my outfit and my hair pretty good the background good So I took my retainers out my teeth look so much better without them on So now what I'll do is I will just start filming and I will see you guys afterwards Alright guys, so I just got done filming. It is noon currently, so that took a little less than an hour to film. It is really helpful to plan out what you're gonna say because then it takes less time. But now what I'm going to do is upload all of these clips onto my computer. I'm probably not gonna edit them yet, but just make sure that I have them on my computer and off of my SD card. <music> Okay, so I got all my clips on my computer. I changed my background since you guys have seen it last. But basically, we're just gonna go into my YouTube folder and then the video clips. It's hard to see, but I have two folders that have the clips for each video. So this one is for the video I'm filming right now. And then this one is for the video that I just filmed. Now that these are on my computer, I will go edit them maybe later. But for now, I think I'm just gonna go downstairs and hang out. But whenever I edit, I will show you guys. Later. So it is a little bit later, like like two hours I think and I'm gonna start editing I'm just trying to get like a head start on the video but I already got the clips on here so I'm just gonna show you like the stuff that I used to edit so first off obviously I use my computer if you guys want to see the unboxing video or the review video for this laptop they will be linked in the description down below and then I use the Final Cut Pro editing software other things that I use to edit blue light glasses these are very helpful to use while you're editing mine are from Amazon they'll also be linked in the description down below I also use 
use AirPods or headphones if I need to, and then I just have a mouse here as well. But yeah, so I'm going to start editing. I'm gonna show you guys how I move like all the clips into Final Cut Pro and how I start to edit. So first I just go into Final Cut Pro and currently I'm editing my room makeover video, but you guys have probably already seen it, so don't mind that. But I go up here to File, New, and then Library. I like to make a new library for every project so that when I'm done editing the project, I can just delete the whole library because it frees up more space for me. And I just title it the name of the video. So you can see the library here and then I go to File, New, and then I go to Project. And I also title it the same thing. And now here's the project within the library. So then what I do is I go up here to my YouTube folder and I go to Video Clips and I go to the folder with the clips in it. And here are all the clips. This last one here is where I was taking a thumbnail so I won't need to include that down here in the timeline. But I just highlight all the clips and then I bring it down into here and here they are. So as you can see without doing like any editing whatsoever I have 30 minutes of footage. So now at this point I'm just gonna rough cut everything where basically I cut out anything unneeded like breaths, pauses, or parts where I mess up. So I'm starting to rough cut at 1 33 p.m. on Saturday January 16th and I will update you guys whenever I finish the rough cuts. Alright guys so it is about 9 30 p.m. and I finished rough cutting this video. So like I said before I think I had like an hour of footage. I don't really remember but I'm now down to 11 minutes and 58 seconds which is really good. So like I said I rough cut the whole video so now I just have the clips that I need. I also added my little button click thing and my social medias. I also added some text but not that much. So yeah I finished rough cutting it and I did it in different time periods throughout the day. So I started at around like 2 p.m. I think and I finished at about 9 p.m. So that kind of shows you how much time rough cutting takes. It does take a while depending on the video. So yeah that is it for the rough cutting and tomorrow I'll do the fun edits. All right guys, so it is currently like 10 in the morning. It is Sunday, January 17th, and I'm gonna continue editing today, but I'm gonna do the fun part, so I'm gonna go into Final Cut Pro. And this video actually needs to post in like about two to three days, so I do need to like edit a little bit more than I usually would every day. But like I said, I have all the rough cutting done. So what I'll be doing today is just going over it and finding any spots where I wanna do like a crop or add text or whatever we'll have to see how far i get the following day hi guys so it is currently 1 43 p.m on january 18th and tomorrow is the day that i need to post the video that i have been working on so i do need to get it ready today and i just have to do a couple more things i literally have been editing in different sections that are like hours every day for the past like two days i think so i've definitely been working on it and now what i'm going to do is watch through the whole thing and then if there's any edits i want to make or add anything to it then i'll do that and then once I do that, I will save and export the video and upload it to YouTube. So I just watched through the whole video and made edits wherever I felt like they were needed and now I'm just going to export my video. If you have Final Cut Pro and you don't know how to do this, basically you go up here in this top right corner to this like save button. You click on it. I choose master file but there's other ones you can choose from and then you can see it's right here. This is my end screen but that's just what it looks like so I click next and then I choose where I want it to save and I have this little folder here that I put all of my finished YouTube videos in and then when that folder gets a little bit full then I transfer transport them onto my external hard drive but once I choose a folder then I'll just click save and then you can see how far it is saved up in this top corner and on my newer MacBook it definitely saves way faster than my other one okay so as you guys can see on the screen my video has now saved it usually pops up on the screen like this when it's done but then I go to YouTube studio and I go to upload the video so to do that I just click create and then upload videos select files and then I go to my YouTube folder finished folder Folder and then the one that I'm gonna upload. I click open and here it is uploading. So it doesn't actually take too long to upload, but then it has to process afterwards. While I let this upload, now is usually when I'll create a thumbnail. So to do that, I just go to my YouTube folder, video clips, and I find the video clips for that video. And then I find the clip that I used to like pose for a thumbnail. And then I click the share button and airdrop, and then I airdrop it to myself on my phone. So now you guys will see 
two different screens on your screen but once it gets onto my phone then I turn my phone like landscape and I just kind of go through it to see my poses and I screenshot the parts that I could possibly use as a thumbnail so once I find a picture that I like I'll like tap the screen to make it clear screenshot it and then crop these little black edges out so once I find the pictures, then I go to the app Lightroom. And this is what I use to edit all my pictures for my thumbnails, my Instagram pictures. I got a ton in here, but I just add my picture. I usually have to go to screenshots since I screenshotted it, but then I go to the first option, go to presets, and I choose from either California, California part two or part three. All of these filters here I made, I just named them different things. So I can use them for different like occasions. But for my thumbnails, I use one of these and whichever one looks the best I will choose and then if I need to edit it I will so I like this one but the next thing I do is I go to Fonto <laughs> there is the thumbnail so then I will just airdrop that back to my MacBook and once it is here on my MacBook then I always drag the thumbnail into the folder with the clips just so I can keep it all together then I scroll down a little bit to thumbnail here and just drag it into it and there it is so as you can see the uploading is done and the processing will begin shortly so now is usually when I'll add like the title and edit the description and all of the little different settings <music> Okay, so as you guys saw, I finished adding all of the little details to the video. Since the video isn't fully processed yet, I can't add any iCars or my end screen, but I got the title, the description, and all that kind of stuff done. So now I wait for the processing to finish. So I think that is where I'm going to end today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully this video gave you an idea of the timeline of making a YouTube video. The process for making this video was a little bit rushed just because I filmed the video later than I usually would. So if I had filmed the video when I normally would film a video, the making of this video probably would have taken about a week, but since I edited for hours every day, it took about like three to four days, I think. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell down below to be notified whenever I post, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!